Nobody cares about your trauma. This is what the voice tells me every day. Every day, this abusive voice, which is the voice of trauma, actually, tells me. It tells me nobody cares. And I'm like, well, I care. I'm not a nobody. I'm a person. I care. So leave me alone. Well, I've been dealing with this voice for a while. And I know that most of the people have this voice. You don't um, necessarily are classified as neurodivergent if you have this kind of an abusive voice just letting you know the ways to deal with this voice that i've uh, been practicing for a while are you tell this voice so what <laughs> like it tells you nobody cares and you're like so what i want to do it i'll do it or the voice tells you you're stupid and you're like fine okay i am <laughs> and another few and you can just imagine how it goes like with anything the voice tells you you just say fine okay what next <laughs> because the voice usually doesn't have anything else it just wants you to feel bad about yourself and again this is a part of you this is a part of you that has developed this inner critic developed due to childhood abuse and trauma and the voice has adapted the narrative that other people have been uh, displaying to you either they were those people were directly telling you certain things or they were um indirectly uh, causing you to feel this way the narrative that trauma is this big event in your life is so not true you there could be many little events that just build up over time. And especially if those events happen in your formative years, then you're most likely going to start displaying symptoms of CPTSD, which is complex post-traumatic stress disorder, which is still not in the DSM. And this voice uh, goes along with it. The voice comes along with CPTSD. It is the manifestation, so to speak, of your perception of reality through the lens of those who abused you. So if people were directly or indirectly or both showing you and telling you that you were such and such person, you internalize this narrative and it becomes your truth. And then you may, um, and then it may become a self-fulfilled prophecy. Like you're going to live your life according to this narrative. Like, oh, something didn't work out. Oh, that's because I'm stupid. That's because I'm bad. I'm not going to look at the objective reality, at the facts. I'm not going to take all of these little pieces, all of these nuances into consideration. I'm just going to come up I'm just going to conclude that I am a bad person, therefore bad things happen to me. And this, and this is also an internalized religious way of thinking, which is the just world hypothesis, which I talked about at length on many occasions, because it really wrecked my life in the past. Thinking that bad things only happen to you as a form of punishment for you being bad. So I was like, I am deserving of all the bad things that happen to me. And that's just not true. So learning about trauma and learning about how to deal with trauma is essential for all of us. And this continuous overcome narrative and resilience narrative is something that we need to deal with as activists as well. We cannot allow this narrative to be the one and only because some of these things you can't overcome. Some of these things you just have to accept and learn to live with. And there is nothing good about overstepping your boundaries there is nothing good about overcoming your perceived weaknesses when it in the end makes you a less fulfilled individual because less fulfilled individuals are not very good for organizing like obviously we'll have to take what we have we'll deal with whatever we have but it is so much better to have the space for the people to process their trauma to learn to accept themselves and learn to work with what they have. They have to understand their true capacities. Like we all have to understand that we are limited and we have to stop pretending that we're these superheroes that can do everything, just push through things, force ourselves into stuff. That's just not gonna work out. It's gonna be harmful to us and it ultimately can be harmful to the community at large because we may unconsciously start acting in an aggressive uh, manner or a passive aggressive manner like we will start treating other people as less than if they're not also pushing and overcoming so that's just a rant about ableism i suppose this is a rant about how 
we diminish our own experiences and it is so good for the capitalist propaganda like the the myth that you have to overcome everything by yourself otherwise you're this weak individual um who has no grit this is all a lie that capitalists really really benefit from so we've got to confront it we've got to confront it through mutual aid and the support that we can provide now and we can provide much more than we think like having a person listen to you without judgment is already a huge step so if you're able to do that in your life i think you should